Hey everybody, uh, welcome to video two for the programmable router. This is the one where I go over the different rules for switching uh, that you can select and how to select them. So here we have the, the same set we had in the first video where uh, a single input can go to multiple outputs, but a single output uh, cannot be sent to different inputs. Uh, and so this is, the, this is, I think, the most useful way to use the module. Uh, and it's also the one that is less likely to uh, get any kind of strangeness out of your other modules by jamming inputs together without mixing resistors. Like this can actually damage uh, some modules. If they're designed well, hopefully it won't damage. Most people will design around that, but it's uh, something to you know keep aware of and try not to do. Um, so the way you select different uh, rules is when the module first turns on, it's going to read the position of this knob, and then if the save button is being pressed down while that knob is being read, it will change to the rule set that corresponds to that position. And we have these LEDs to tell us exactly how it's going to read the knob. So right now, if you turn it off and hold save, it's going to go to this because the white and blue LEDs are off. Those are the two LEDs that really matter. If you have the blue LED on, but the white is off, and you turn off the module and give it, you know, a few seconds for the everything to power down and the microcontroller to uh, go into a full, like, dead mode so it starts fresh up. Now we're going to hold save and press on. And now we have it in single input, single output mode. And this is also set so that there is always an input on each output. You can't turn something off. Uh, but this makes it so that there is you're automatically switching back and forth. So one button press is going to affect two channels. And there's only ever going to be one input for one output. And there's always one input for one output. And right now I don't have anything patched into this, uh, just so that you don't get as distracted by the sound and so it's easier for you to hear me talk. Uh, and then if you want to go to the other mode, which is multiple input to multiple output, you want to set it so that the white LED is on, but the blue is not on. Um, so we're going to power down. And then give it a couple seconds. And every time that you're changing the mode, it's erasing all your patterns you've saved. Uh, that's because the patterns won't be valid with the different rules. Uh, so here we go. Hold and save. Turn it on. Oh, you know what? I, I don't know if you saw that, but it briefly flashed blue. I'm going to set this to a different spot. So that's a, something that could easily happen to you. Uh, the capacitors, just uh, something happened that it didn't charge quite correctly so that it saw blue for a split second before it saw white. Um, so I moved it up just a little bit so we shouldn't have that trouble this time. So now any input can go to any output. You can just turn everything on if you want to. or And this is something that I don't really see being very, very useful, but uh, I wanted to have it available to people because um, I don't know what people are really going to use this for. I tried to make it be as open as possible for how to use it, and so uh, I wanted to make it available. So that's, and then I'll just go back to the normal, original mode right here, and there you have it. Very easy. Okay, thanks for watching.